Well, I'll ask you the following question, Piers. Should the Palestinians, if they have a state, should they be able to sign, let's say, a military agreement, a military treaty with Iran? Should they be able to have an army, an air force? Should they have all those military powers that could theoretically threaten the state of Israel? And the answer, in our view, is clearly no. Why should they be there have prohibited to be limitations. from having, my, my, my question would be, why should they be prohibited from having exactly the same rights as a state to Israel? Wouldn't that be ultimately the way you actually achieve peace? Not allowing the Palestinians to have the same rights as Israelis has just not worked, has it? I mean, demonstrably not worked. On the contrary, if this is going to work, it has to be based on realism. We can't base peace on assumptions that just aren't based, founded on reality. And Yitzhak Rabin, the Prime Minister of Israel who wanted to make peace with the Palestinians, who was the Prime Minister at the time of the signing of the Oslo Accords, he gave a speech and he was very clear. He said that the Palestinians will have less than a state. Yitzhak Rabin said, the man who was shot for his efforts to move forward on the peace process. He said that the future Palestinian areas will have to be demilitarized. He said the Jordan Valley, that area on the eastern edge of the Palestinian territories, would have to remain under Israeli control. The idea that a Palestinian area will have to be demilitarized in any future uh, settlement, that's common sense. 